Uh, what kind of uh, association is good for a purification? Well, this question is uh, is an important question uh, when uh, when uh, especially because of social platforms, we can hear anybody and everybody in this social platforms. But whom to hear and whom to take association with? That's a big question. Now, which kind of association is good for me? How do I decide? And is there any parameter to decide? Yes, scriptures mention a parameter to decide which kind of association is good for you. Well, Bhakti Madhakur mentions in one of his articles, he, he had published an article in his God, yes. And he published and he, and he said, well, if you want to take association, see four things with the person whom you are taking association. The first is that person should be knowledgeable in scriptures uh, because if he is not knowledgeable in scriptures then what the hell we are doing with that person. It's not a question of sentimental relationships and love. That's not what we are talking about. Uh, association means transfer of knowledge by the way. Vishwan Chakrit Thakur says association means transfer of thoughts and information. So that person should have knowledge of scriptures, not speculative knowledge. Second is he should be able to explain you that knowledge nicely. Otherwise, what's the point of staying with him? Uh, and the third is he should be able to free you from doubts. If you ask some doubts, he should be able to convince you, give some convincing and satisfying answers. Otherwise, if a doubts are not solved, then a, then a path on Krishna consciousness, and spiritual path will not be clear enough to walk on that path in a determined way. And the fourth is, very important, that person should speak what he follows and he should follow what he speaks. Simple. If you find these four things in a person, it might not be that it's 100% perfect. That person might not be 100% perfect. No person is 100% perfect, by the way. That's a utopian dream, 100% happiness, 100% beauty, 100% perfection. That's in God. So we, are, so we are not looking for 100% perfection, but we are looking for some authentic, uh, yeah, so we are looking for authenticity and not for perfection. Now, authenticity is that person is speaking from scriptures and he knows scriptures nicely. He should be able to explain you, he should be able to solve your doubts and he should be, he should be like uh, at least, at least um, in all, in all, in all gross things and he should be able to follow what he says and he should be say, saying what he follows. Some fine details, there might be some mismatch, but that doesn't matter. In most of the things, this following and saying should match together. Then it's okay. Then we can hear, to hear that person. Now, uh, having said that, uh, having said that, one thing is that when we hear to this, these kind of people, uh, one thing we have to remember is, uh, the uh, fifth point you have to see, very important, along with these four points, the person whom you are hearing, he should not, he, he should not be a person that flatters you. If that person is flattering you and if he's trying to say things what you like, then that's not the right person whom you, are, you, whom you should hear to. That person whom you are hearing, he should be speaking truth, whether you like it, whether you don't like it. It's not that that person is whom you are hearing, that person is always scolding you, is always condescending you. Now, that's not what I am saying. What I am saying, you should be able to present truth according to scriptures and clear out doubts. That's it. And that is good. That kind of person we should always hear. Uh, and uh, But one point, one footnotes I have to add here. When you are hearing to such people and such devotees, it might sometimes be hard to hear them because they will speak according to scriptures, they will speak truth which you might not be, which you might not be able to digest it. But keep your mind open. Keep your mind open to all possibilities. You can always ask questions, you can always clear doubts. If that person is knowledgeable and also realized in that knowledge, he will be able to convince you and satisfy you nicely. That will be no problem. But keep your mind open. Don't close your mind when you are hearing. And if you can do that, then we can really become purified. Srila Prabhupada was like that by the way. Shri Prabhupada always spoke truth, Shri Prabhupada always spoke from Bhagavad Gita. Uh, there are many incidences of Prabhupada if you read his life history. Uh, Prabhupada is always speaking truth, he spoke to his disciples openly according to Bhagavad Gita. Many of his disciples, some of his, uh, not, yeah, some of his senior disciples and many other disciples, they couldn't really digest what Prabhupada spoke and they left Prabhupada. Prabhupada said, well, Prabhupada said, if I don't speak from Gita and if I don't repeat God's word, my preaching is meaningless. What's the use of that? That is the spirit. 
this that's why everybody heard prabhupad although krishna sent people to prabhupad okay hear this person so we should hear to this kind of people if we want to really benefit ourselves it will purify heart it will help us it might be difficult little but but that doesn't matter the idea is to become purified and advance in krishna consciousness even it is difficult every subject is difficult everything is difficult in life life is difficult by the way but nobody commits suicide because life is difficult so similarly we should take good association considering its four criteria hear them apply the instructions in their life advance purify ourselves go back to krishna hari krishna shri prabhupada